as we head into the latter months of our winter season, note that at times it can still produce some pretty impressive winter storms, especially some of the scenes coming out of areas of Colorado and some of that bringing impacts, especially to our snowy range. There has been reports of getting over two feet of snowfall and even much of our lower elevation spots seeing several inches as well. We'll get those official totals to you as those come through, but note that we still have some lingering impacts along areas here of I-80. So note that still Tra tracking some slippery travel as snow pickup is ongoing, as well as noting that the development of some areas of some dense fog is also going to start off our Friday, and that could lead to even uh, slippery travel to develop in some spots where those roadways may get cleared and they're a little bit damp and then can create this little slip, uh, slippery attraction. So keep it slow on those roadways. Expect still some of that slower travel at least to start the day. Definitely some better conditions off towards the northeast where that northeasterly wind that we had actually cut off a lot of that snowfall to the northeast where some spots saw little to snow, no snow and where spots did keep lighter accumulation melting was occurring pretty quickly throughout Thursday but we are going to be underneath some brightening conditions and that's going to help to allow for some warming after dealing with some winter like temperatures now we're not going to soar those temperatures we are going to stay closer to normal and then we will talk about a warming trend though into next week where we could be back into those 60s now it's going to stay winter like here for our Friday especially where areas have that snow pack that's going to keep that potential of into those 30s also Cheyenne's going to be an area that battles some of that fog as well and if that can keep conditions a bit cloudier that will keep those temperatures cooler as well with the expectation here that we're going to hold into those 30s we also know that feel like temperatures stay at least about 5 to 10 degrees cooler than those actual temperatures so making sure to have those winter layers on now what might help to break up some of that fog is going to be some breezier winds coming out of the south with that departing low pressure system into the central plains now the the wind, whether it's southerly or not, it is going to create that chill. So one thing after another is still going to keep conditions uh, with that winter like feel for our Friday. Again, you can almost see where that snowpack is here where those temperatures are holding within those 30 is Medicine Bow, Rollins, Laramie, as well as Cheyenne. But then as you work away there, even from Pine Bluff, you see those temperatures rise into those 50s as this is a region where they are still very dry and warm soils that can bump those temperatures back up into those 50s. So it will take a while there to get out of some of those colder temperatures. Even Saturday, you can still, still see some of those 40s where some spots here across the Nebraska Panhandle will be trying to head towards those 60s. But the good news is that the weekend's going to have some pretty tranquil weather. So that's going to allow for some better travel, maybe try to get out and enjoy some of those regions that have some of that snowfall. And then we are going to see here St. Patrick's Day is going to be, again, very near normal. We stay into those 40s, but we have that sunshine and then we continue warming sun into next week.